Another artist also weighing in today, world-renowned violinist It's Zach Perlman, canceling his Raleigh performance just 24 hours before in protest of HB2. A new tonight, CBS North Carolina's Michael Hyland spoke with the artist about why he made the decision last minute. Despite his concerns, Grammy-winning violinist Itzhak Perlman says he was ready to come to Raleigh. The law is, is a very bad law. That law he's referring to is House Bill 2. After the legislature passed it in March, Perlman said he had to decide whether to play on or protest by staying out of North Carolina. When I first heard about it, uh, I immediately had this problem, do I cancel or do I go? Perlman was due to perform with the North Carolina Symphony Wednesday night. He decided he would play and donate the proceeds to Equality NC to help push for House Bill 2's repeal. But he wanted fans at his performance to be able to read a statement about his concerns. I need to have some sort of a written statement inserted into the program of the concert so that people know exactly how I feel. And this morning, uh, I got uh, the word from the orchestra that they could not do that. That's when he posted on Facebook he'd be canceling. I feel terrible about it. I really do. There's a dark cloud rising. He's the latest in a string of artists to cancel performances, including Bruce Springsteen, Ringo Starr, and Demi Lovato. The state Republican Party tells CBS North Carolina Itzhak Perlman's decision to cancel his performance is just the latest example of hypocrisy and selective outrage from the far left that does nothing but hurt ordinary North Carolinians. They have the right to their opinion. <laughs> You know, I mean, it's not hypocritical at all. And I know, I believe, you know, uh, th this is this is actually a very, very strong statement. In Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS North Carolina. And we have reached out to the symphony about Perlman not being able to place a statement in the program about House Bill 2. We have not received a response. And ticket holders can contact the symphony about getting a refund.